Mozart Requiem is a uh, one of the most uh, mysterious work, actually, and uh, uh, because of the quite um, many stories behind, you know, the Mozart has not completed this work, and by and he has passed away. That gives us a lot of consolation and also a lot of power. And uh, Requiem text is actually. Of course, that is a part of liturgy of the, for the funeral or whatever memorial service. But actually, uh, the text uh, is not only sad uh, side uh, of the of the life. Instead, that that is a that says much about the hope. So this work uh, has not been completed, unfortunately. So that I decided to ask my son Masato, he is a composer and a conductor as well, and uh, uh, to to complete this work uh, with a lot of respect of the Zismaya, but still there are some uh, elements which we can use this from uh, the Iblas version, which were uh, more more excited, more interesting than Zismaya. We know that the Mozart has left as a small uh, sketch of the. Uh, the beginning of the fuga after the lacrimosa, the, which was not completed by this Maya. And uh, so uh, I thought, and we thought that was a little too pity, you know, to, to uh, ignore that element. So that's, uh, I asked Masato to complete that uh, fuga. And uh, uh, there are plenty of many, many people uh, who, who have completed this fuga. The Masato version of the uh, this Ame fuga is uh, uh, very compact and very, uh, I think that's very well done. So that's why I'm very happy to do this version. I have performed this requiem many, many times and with a different orchestra, different symphony orchestra, sometimes the modern instruments, sometimes the period instruments. And well, uh, basically, uh, the my idea or my feeling to this work uh, it does not change anything. Uh, the 60 is uh, slightly bigger than uh, my usual thing, but still, uh, you know, it, it, it must work very well. And, and uh, in the Mozart case, um, there are nearly no evidence of what kind of choir he has used, actually. Sometimes a very small church choir in that mm. world, and sometimes can be a little bigger. I started my career as an organist, and, uh, <clears throat> well, Playing the organ uh, and conducting the choir is a more or less the same thing for me. <laughs> well, not same, but I mean, very, very similar. Because uh, the you know the, so when when you play the, some fuga, for example, on the organ, you know the, the some theme comes from tenor and soprano and bass and uh, the alto and something like that. This kind of this polyphonical structure is the, exactly the same as the choir. I agree with you because. Organ, if you, are, you have a fuga, it's, it's, it's very yes, vocal. Yes. El Requiem de Mozart no es una obra nueva para nosotros, es, es una obra de, de repertorio, obviamente, pero, pero va a ser la primera vez que vamos a interpretar el Requiem de Mozart con un maestro eh, que es uno de los máximos eh, exponentes del Authentic Movement. La música es muy buena. Haydn, Takemitsu, Mozart, estamos hablando de la música de la mejor calidad y estamos hablando para mí una de las mejores sinfonías de Haydn. Eh, Takemitsu también es una obra que conozco, me parece muy interesante y, y qué vamos a decir del Requiem de Mozart, es una de las grandes eh, obras del repertorio eh, de la historia, de toda la historia, por tanto yo creo que es un concierto para no perdérselo y es una música para el público especializado pero también para aquellas personas que nunca han estado en un concierto. Yo les invitaría a este programa porque lo van a disfrutar.